So in this video, we're gonna talk about how much you can expect to make on a one million view YouTube video, what it takes to be a full-time YouTuber, and the roadmap, or a roadmap, of what you can do to get there. So let's first start off, I'm gonna show you a video here that's got almost a million views, and this YouTube video here made $2,544. Uh, moving on to another video, this video here has got nearly three million views, uh, this one here has made just over seven thousand uh, dollars. And then a uh, video here with less views, uh, just over a hundred thousand views and four hundred and thirty dollars. So as you can see, there is money to be made by being a YouTuber. Uh, so in this video, we're going to have a little talk about what, what it takes to be a YouTuber and what you can do to get there. What does it take to be a YouTuber? So first of all, persistence. Um, you're going to have to spend eight to sixteen hours a day, seven days a week, for at least three or four years uh, for this to, to kind of work. Uh, there's YouTubers that have got there quicker. You know, for example, Logan Paul, he made millions on his first year. But most YouTubers, it takes years and years and years and years. Mr. Beast, who is one of the fastest growing YouTubers, it took him around about seven years of making loads and loads of videos uh, to finally becoming profitable. Uh, so you're gonna have to put a lot of time into this. There's a lot of people that just do one or two videos a week. Uh, they're half-assed and they expect to, make a load of, uh, expect to make a load of money. That's not gonna happen. You have to give it your full. You have to treat it like a full-time job. If you just treat it like a hobby, it, you're not gonna make any money, which is fine. You just have to decide what you want out of your YouTube channel. Is it loads of money or, do you, or are you just doing it purely as a hobby? It's, it's kind of down to you, but if you want to make a full-time living, you're going to have to treat it like a full-time job. As with anything else in life, you get out what you put in. So if you don't put anything in, you're not really going to get anything out of it. You're going to need unique, uniqueness and creativity. Uh, you're going to have to find your own character and, and your own sort of spin on how you make your videos. Uh, some people out there, they just go out and they copy others and they never end up being successful. Casey Neistat, one of the most successful vloggers, there's so many people that started copying him and it just makes for cringeworthy content. You, you watch those videos, you can just see what they're doing. Ah, they're copying Casey. And nobody watches it, nobody gets any views. Like for me, over on my main channel, um, I'm gonna put a link to my main channel down below, by the way. Um, I make mainly uh, radio controlled videos, reviewing RC cars, testing them, uh, modifying them, all that sort of stuff. And there's uh, quite a few channels out there that have copied my style. They try and make the same thumbnails. They try and do the same sort of description. They try and do the similar sort of content, the same sort of sound effects in the same sort of style. And um, that's not really the way to do it because those channels just don't get any views. Uh, instead, you have to embrace your own uniqueness because your own uniqueness is what only you have. Nobody can copy that. So you've got to use that to your advantage and you've got to get your viewers to come onto your channel and to like your own personality that nobody else can copy. You know, when people come and copy my, uh, my style or Casey Neistat's style or anybody else's style for that matter, they never make any views. So you're gonna to have to come up with your own style and, and embrace it. And you need to know what the viewer wants. So, you know, you could make a video, you could show it to your mum and your dad or to your wife or your girlfriend and everyone looks at it and they're like, oh yeah, that is so good, that's so good. And you could think yourself that it's good. But that doesn't matter. And what matters is what the audience as a whole think is good. Remember, the customer is always right, but as a, as a group, not as an individual. So you have to look at your YouTube analytics and you've got to see what the viewer wants to see. And then you have to do more of that. And then if you're doing something that the viewers don't want to see, you want to do less of that. So forget what you think's good. Instead, focus on what the viewers think is good. And it doesn't necessarily mean all fancy camera gear and, and fancy editing. You know, it's not really got much to do with that, with that when it comes to YouTube. Uh, next, in order to get your YouTube video to get many views, uh, these are the three main things that you need to focus on. You need to get a high watch time. So if you make a 10 minute video, you want people watching at least four minutes plus. Ideally, you want them to watch all of it. The longer of the video that your viewers watch, percentage wise and total view time, uh, the more YouTube are gonna push that video up in the search results. So you could just make uh, like a two hour long video and you're probably gonna get a slightly longer watch time, but your percentage is gonna be way down. So ideally, you wanna get a high of a percentage as you possibly can. There's no ideal video length. I've got videos that are three minutes long that I've got a ton of views. I've got videos that are 20 minutes long. So that's prob probably the sweet spot, somewhere between three minutes and 20 minutes. Next, you need a decent click-through rate. That's how often people click on your video when you get shown on the YouTube uh, uh, website. 
Uh, so you want that to be as high as possible. You know, if you're 7% or higher, that's pretty good. If you can get above 10%, that's really good. Uh, Mr. Beast, he gets around about, I think he gets around about 50% watch time, uh, around about 10 minutes, and uh, I think it's around about a 20% click-through rate. So that's why he gets so many views. If you can get to that, those sort of statistics like that, then your channel's really going to go to the moon. Uh, and next, you want engagement. So people leaving comments, people putting thumbs up, people putting thumbs down, people subscribing, all that sort of stuff. Basically, if they're doing something to your video, that's all good. Uh, and lastly, and there's a few other things that you need. This, this is kind of like just a main, main little quick rundown. You need a decent computer. You need a computer that can sort of run through the editing. It takes a lot of computing power to edit a video. And if you've got a slow computer, then... Um, it's just going to be a bad editing experience. You know, basically when you're editing, you need to scrub the footage. You need to get through the footage quick. If you've got a slow computer, it's just going to be really jerky and it's going to be almost impossible to edit. So you need a half decent computer. So next, what you don't need, you do not need expensive camera gear. So I fell into that trap, thought I had to buy expensive cameras. The one I'm filming on here, look. I had all the big cameras, all the big fancy microphones and all that. And... Um, it just ended up being all heavy and bulky and clunky, and then I just now I just ended up using my phone. This is just an old Samsung Galaxy S9 that I do 99% of my videos with, and then I complement it with a little bit of GoPro footage. And even with that, I've got an old GoPro Hero 7. Uh, so you don't need expensive camera gear. Uh, basically, if somebody watches your video, you want them to not think about your quality of sound and video. You know, so if they're just watching the video, it doesn't even cross their mind that you've got poor audio or you've got poor, uh, poor video, uh, then you're fine. You know, people are not going to notice you having the ultra high-end microphones and the ultra high-end cameras. It's, it's not really going to make much of a difference. So, you know, if you watch a video and the audio is really, really bad, like you've got loads of wind noise, it's muffled, you can't really hear what somebody's talking about, then yes... Uh, that means the audio is bad and you're going to have to make it better. If the video is all shaky and, and jerky and pixelated, then yeah, you've, um, you've got to make better video. But end of the day, any half modern smartphone is going to do the job perfectly fine. So just start off with that. You don't need professional filmmaking and editing skills. So this is a problem that many first time YouTubers make. They think they have to make their videos really professional and they get all the lighting everywhere to make it perfect. They get all the high end cameras. Uh, they, they put all the transitions in the editing. They try and make it look all, all, these, you know, all, all, these, all these funky intros and stuff. And they try and really make the video look as professional as possible. But that is not why people watch YouTube videos. People watch YouTube uh, videos because they want to come away from that sort of television professional fakeness and they want to come to a platform where it's more real where where the viewers can connect more with the video creators so just embrace it that we're not professionals uh, we're just running around with a smartphone filming stuff just embrace it you know you try and be too professional it just looks even less professional next uh, the problem with becoming a youtuber you need time and money at the same time if you have a full-time job you've you've got the money but you've got no time to put into your YouTube channel. You know, as we said before, you need to spend eight to 16 hours a day, seven days a week for many years to come to stand the chance of, of turning YouTube into a job. So uh, you need time and money at the same time. You need to find something that is gonna make you money, but with not too much um, input, not too much work. So if you've got a nine to five job, you have money, but you have no time. And if you haven't got a job, then you've got all the time in the world, but you haven't got any money. So the solution, you either need three to four years at a bare minimum, bare minimum of savings, or you're going to need to find a full-time income that requires minimal work. I've been trying to figure this out for the past 12 years since I quit my job. I've been looking at all these different ways of making money. And um, I'll tell you what doesn't work, get-rich-quick schemes. They never work. If you want to make money, you have to provide a product or service of value that others want. So by pressing a button somewhere or anything like that, it's not going to do that. You're not going to make any money. So if you're looking for that get-rich-quick scheme that's going to make you a ton of money for minimal work, forget it. You're not going to find it. Uh, you're going to have to knuckle down and you're going to have to do a bit of work. My solution is selling on eBay. As I said, I've tried many different things. I've tried Amazon FBA. I've tried Shopify. I've tried making e-books. I've tried you name it. If it's an online way of making money, I've probably tried it. And by far the easiest way and the quickest way of making money that I have found 
um, is selling on eBay. So some of the benefits of selling on eBay, you can start now. All you need is a smartphone. You can have the eBay app on here. You got the camera on there. You can do all of your eBay to start with on a phone. Now ideally, you want a proper PC, but you know, if you haven't got one, you can start off with this. Uh, selling on eBay has a very low startup cost. So you can find products in China from places like AliExpress for like a dollar shipped to your door. And you just find multiple products like that and you put those on your eBay page and the ones that do well, you, you sort of scale them up. Very low risk, you don't need to invest a lot of money. You know, you just literally, you risk just what you're willing to, to, to initially put in. You know, some people, they're, they're willing to risk maybe $10. Other people like me, I put $1,000 in when I first started, but you can put in any amount you want. It, just the less you put in, it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get up to speed. If you put more money in on the get-go, it's gonna get you there quicker, but it's obviously, you're risking more money. So just, just put in what you're willing to risk. You can make a full-time income and more with just one or two hours by selling on eBay. Uh, so that is exactly what we need if we wanna have a YouTube channel because we can do eBay for a couple of hours in the morning and we've got the whole rest of the day to make YouTube videos. So here's a roadmap. This is what I did uh, and this is a solution that I can see of how you can go from having a nine to five job to being a full-time YouTuber. Now this is just my way of doing it. There's, there's probably many different ways that you can do it too. Uh, so, you know, saying you've got a nine to five job here, uh, and by the way, you, you always want to have two of these things at any one time. You do not want only one form of income. If you've only got one form of income and that income dries up, then you're done. You know, I don't know your situation. Maybe you've got a family. Maybe you've got a mortgage you've got to pay for. Maybe you've got to put food on the table. And if all you have is a nine to five job, uh, you are at severe risk. This is probably the least secure way of making money that you can have a nine to five job. You know, the company could go bust. The company could lay you off, they could make you redundant, or you could get sacked. So your nine to five job is far, far, far from secure. So if that's all you've got, I would highly suggest you've got at least a minimum of six months worth of savings. Because if this went away, how are you gonna pay the bills? How are you gonna put food on the table? Um, if, you, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna have to sort it out. You know, living on the edge doesn't, doesn't make for a happy life at all. Uh, so next, we got our nine to five job, we need to find a full-time wage with minimum time investment. So as we said before, my solution was eBay. You know, of course, there's probably different things that you can do. Uh, you're just gonna have to find something that is a fit for you, something that's suitable for you. In my case, it was eBay. And then once you've got your eBay up and running and you're making a full-time wage on eBay and you know, you've got some savings behind you, then you can now quit that nine to five job knowing that you've now got the time to do your YouTube. So now you can spend as many years as it takes to get your YouTube channel off the ground. And that is really the only solution that I know of, of how you can do it. Because if, if you just quit your job, you're gonna run out of money. And if you do your job, you're gonna run out of time. And both of them, you're not gonna be able to do YouTube. So you have to absolutely have to find a way of making money uh, that doesn't take too much of your time up. So are there any problems with selling on eBay? Yes, most people, don't really make much money when they sell on eBay. Uh, it can be very difficult to make a profit on eBay if you don't know what you're doing. So that's the problem that most newbie sellers make. They just start putting stuff on eBay and hoping for the best, and then they wonder why they don't make any money. And then the biggest problem that I see that um, eBay sellers make is that they think that they have to sell the cheapest. If you're the one selling the cheapest, there's gonna be somebody else selling cheaper. Then you're gonna sell cheaper, they're gonna sell cheaper. And in the end, it's a race to the bottom. Nobody makes any money and you're gonna be selling at a loss. So instead, you have to find a way of making your listing better in every way possible than your competition. And once you've done that, then you can sell at a higher price. So, solution to that, I have made a free mini eBay course. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. It's literally a playlist on this channel where I teach you guys the basics of how you can start an eBay store. Uh, now, I've, I've also got a paid for program where in the paid for program, uh, it's actually a, a full 11 step blueprint. You know, I've put 50 grand of my own money and spent years and years and years into finding what works on eBay, finding what products work, what selling strategies work. And I've put all that time and money into it and then I've tested this for myself. I've made over a million dollars worth of sales on eBay now. And uh, some of my years I'll make, uh, previously I've made over hundred grand a year. And um, I've taught many people this system, my strategy, and many of my students have made, uh, made multiple thousands every single month. 
Uh, I've got many testimonials to back it up. So, um, you know, I've got the paid for program as well, but I would suggest that you first jump in onto the free one, see if eBay is a good fit for you or not, and see if you if you like it. You know, eBay is not for everybody. You know, business is not for everybody. Business is only for the 1% of the population. 99% of people, all they want to do, they want to do their 9 to 5 job, they want to go home, put their feet up, relax, have the weekend off so they can go to the zoo with their families. And um, if that's you, then that's fine. But, you know, for the 1% of us, we want uh, we want the better life. We want the nice cars. We want the nice houses. We want the freedom to be able to work for ourselves. And if if that's you, you're gonna have to step outside of your comfort zone. Now I've also got another program which is like a bundle where I put all of my programs together. So in that, it's pretty much basically what I do. So if we go back to this here, this is the exact same strategy that I had. I had a nine to five job. I quit that. I done I done eBay. And then I've done YouTube. So now, now I've got my savings, I've got my YouTube, I still do a little bit of eBay, but I focus most of my time on YouTube. So if you look at my bundle package, I've combined everything in that package, and at the moment that's on special offer as well. And in that, you get the eBay program, you get a, I've made a YouTube program, and this YouTube program, this is taking me months and months to make. I've spent a lot of time making this YouTube program. I've spent a lot of time figuring out what works on YouTube. I've studied many YouTubers. I went for the pain and agony of watching many Logan Paul and Jake Paul videos, and Mr. Beast videos, and PewDiePie videos, and all these videos that I wouldn't normally watch just to see what it is that they do that makes their videos successful. And I've put all that information together in this program, the stuff that I've figured out for myself, stuff that I've learned from others, stuff that I've tested, and I've put all this together in this YouTube program. And then on top of that, I've put a mindset program as well, because to be successful in business, you need two things. You need a skill set, which could be like eBay, YouTube, selling on Amazon, whatever your business is, that's a skill set, but you also need to have the right mindset. So, you know, most of us, when we started out, uh, we've got the 99% mindset, which is go to school, get a job, do your nine to five, retire, live happily ever after. That's the 99% mindset. And that is baked into our brains from an, from an early, early age. And that is all we know. So it's little surprise that when we try and do a business, that it doesn't work because we've got the wrong mindset. So you have to shift your your nine to five mindset over to your... Uh, 1% mindset and uh, I've found there to be, there's definitely more than these, but I've found there to be 75 main traits and habits that the 1% have to be successful at business. And I've figured these out by reading many books, I've spoken to many multimillionaires and it's all stuff that I've tested for myself. I've watched many business YouTube videos. You know, I don't really watch many entertainment YouTube videos. When I watch YouTube videos, they're mainly sort of business uh, focused YouTube videos. I've bought many online courses myself and I've done them. So just by being in the business environment, uh, I've found out these 75 traits and habits that uh, most successful people have. And you know they don't necessarily have all of these traits, but the more of these traits that somebody has, the more successful they tend to be. And I've definitely noticed that the more of these traits that I've learned and picked up and I've used in my businesses, the more successful my businesses have become. So I've included this program as well in the bundle. So basically, in the bundle, you get absolutely everything that I know from going from a nine to five job uh, to running a couple of successful businesses, eBay and a YouTuber, and also get your mindset sorted out. So everything's there in one big bundle. And that is at the moment on a special offer. So I'm gonna put a link to that down below too. Now guys, I'm not just trying to sell you stuff. You know, I only want people in on this that are actually gonna make this work. And, and you're actually gonna turn your life around and you're gonna use it to better yourself. So I suggest you start off with a free eBay course and to see how you get on with that. And then from that, you should figure out if if you've got what it takes to, to sort of maybe come into the 1% uh, and sort of do your own sort of business stuff, or if in fact it's too much for you and you'd rather just carry on with your nine to five job. You know, as I said, working for yourself is only really for the 1%. So for most of you guys watching, uh, this working for yourself stuff is probably not for you. So by, by this free little course that I made, it gives you the chance to sort of figure it out to see if this sort of stuff is for you or not. So there we go, just to recap, here's the roadmap. You got your nine to five job. Uh, you want a second income or savings just so that you're secure. So if one of these incomes dry up, you're not screwed. Uh, you know, especially in this current climate, you don't know what company is gonna go down the pan next. You know, there's companies now that you would never think would go bankrupt and they're gone. So you're never safe. 
you know, your nine to five job's not safe. eBay's not fully safe. You know, they could they could go bankrupt. They could go bust. They could delete your account. You know, probably won't happen, but it could happen. Uh, YouTube, the same. YouTube could go away. YouTube could turn off your monetization. YouTube could delete your channel. You could get hacked, and your channel could get deleted. You know, probably won't happen, but it could. So you always want to have two of these. So start off with your nine to five job. Start on eBay so you've got a full-time wage with minimal time investment. You've now got the time to build your YouTube channel and also have a little bit of savings on the side. That's the way that I did it. That's the way that, well, I recommend you guys do it. Will it work for you? I don't know. Not everybody's got the 1% the mindset. Not everybody's got what it takes. So, you know, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself if you want it or not. For most of you guys, it, it probably won't work. But unless you try, you don't know. So if you want that better life, if you want to go out there and you want to work for yourself, <laughs> it's out there. It's doable. You just got to want it enough. You got to want to do it. I used to have crappy nine to five jobs. I used to work in a sweatshop, welding in factories, and I hated those jobs. And it's only once I stepped away from those jobs and I started working for myself that I'm now really truly enjoying life and I'm loving every minute of it. I love coming to work. I love working on my YouTube channel. I just I just love the whole process, and I, I really would not want it any other way. So, you know, the way that I teach is the way that I actually did it for myself and the way that it works. So, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to listen to me. And as I said before about people looking for this get-rich-quick scheme, there is no shortcut. Well, there's one shortcut. The only shortcut that I know of to get to where you want to go is to learn from others that have done it before. That is the only way. You know, if you try and figure all this stuff out for yourself, it's going to take you years and years and years and years. You know, as I said, there's no get-rich-quick schemes. They never work. But a shortcut is by listening to others that have done it before. And that could be listening to me, it could be listening to somebody completely different. Find somebody that's done what you want to do yourself and listen to those. And you haven't got to listen to everything what they say, you haven't got to agree with everything that they say, but you can get ideas from them and you can kind of use them as like a, you know, maybe a role model, I don't know, and try and follow them in their footsteps. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, the Better Life is out there for if you want it. Click on the links down below. Get going in the free eBay course. Or of course, I've got the bundle and the other stuff if you really want to take it seriously. Don't forget, guys, it's all got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So whatever the reason, hit me up an email. I'm not going to ask you any questions. If it's not for you, then you're going to get your money back. All right, guys, see you soon.